Honestly, if only you knew how difficult it was to make these vlogs. It's just ridiculous. Welcome to the vlog. Hi. Right, so, uh, do you know what? I just, so I'm in the office, obviously. The caravan is on the drive there. It's not as always, it's not as straightforward as you think it is. I've just got to chill out and have a cup of tea to start with. This is quality caravan vlog. Right, today. I was planning on showing you the canopy that we've had fitted uh, earlier in the week at the dealers. Or in fact, it went in last week. It took them two days because the adhesive has, has to dry, then they had a service done and a few other bits, extra plug socket and stuff like that. Um, so it's all been done and it's all on the caravan. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, Facebook, whatever, you'll um, have seen the pictures of it on the roof and very smart it is too very pleased with it now not had the chance to get the caravan get the canopy out because of the you can't see it there but the weather has been pretty grim this week and uh there's no improvement in sight so i thought i'll take the opportunity to go through and try and answer a few questions before they're asked if that makes sense <laughs> so basically things around the weight of the caravan now I have a list of things here because this afternoon I spent a couple of hours just looking how much everything weighs that I've had fit to the caravan so you'll know if you follow the channel we have a Swift 650 Challenger twin axle now I've had it up plated to 2000 kilograms I think when it arrived the uh, MRO was something like 1,540, which gave us a payload of uh, 460. So MTPLM minus the MRO equals your payload, which is the stuff you can put in the caravan and on the caravan. Don't forget, all these things you add uh, reduce your payload. So I have a list of the things we've had added I've just realized that I haven't put the antenna on there, but I mean, you know, so first impressions of the canopy, I'm very happy indeed with it. Now, it seems quite light. Now, only the dealer only kind of wound it out a bit uh, just to show me kind of how it worked and that it was okay. Although, to be honest, I'd watched about 300 YouTube uh, videos, so I knew exactly how it worked. And my first impression was very, seemed very light. Now, we've got the caravan store, the Fiamma caravan store canopy that slides onto the awning rail. I've always thought that was fairly, the legs are fairly chunky. Well, not chunky, but they didn't feel like very light. However, these, uh, literally it was 10 seconds, I just like set it up and that was it. It's felt, I say flimsy, I'm hoping it's strong but light. Now I've mentioned this and a few people said that they, you know, they didn't think that was the case at all. So it was maybe just me comparing it to the Fiamma, which of course it is a very similar thing, but not exactly the same. Now I know because it's on the caravan all the time, I guess you don't want it being too heavy. Lightness is the order of the day with caravan stuff. So I'll go through the accessories that I've added and how much they weigh and explain to you why. I'm not particularly worried, or not at all worried. And I, I know people do worry on my behalf and they think I'm some kind of lunatic because I've adding all this stuff, not only expense, but obviously the actual weight of it all. However, I'm not a lunatic and I do, I do think carefully about these things and we do know what we're doing honest. Here we go. So let's go through all the accessories I've, had, I've added, have added and what they weigh. So I'll start off first of all with EMP. Now, if you research how much EMP weighs, it's very difficult to get a definitive answer. Um, and there's a lot of conflict in information as well. I think some people, they look at the weight of EMP and get scared, right? Now, the thing to remember is with EMP, you're obviously replacing the stays that you've currently got. So any weight you're adding, you've got to kind of take into account what the stays existing stays way so that said from what I can find out it adds 25 kilograms to the weight of the caravan now what some of that is is because of our caravan anyway your caravan might have a heavy duty steadies already the challenge doesn't it's got basically four toothpicks one in each corner that apparently support the weight of the caravan then you've got the 
two center rams and the control box and a bit of wiring so we're saying 25 kilograms for that next up is the aircon on the roof 33 kilograms um, the canopy that we've just bought um, 34 kilograms now I've read somewhere that the it's 30 is 20 percent lighter than the previous model but I don't know if that 34 kilograms is actually the weight of the one I've got or whether it's 34 kilograms minus 20 percent anyway let's go for 34 kilograms keep things easy next motor movers so two motor movers are 30 kilograms so I've got four so that's 60 kilograms um, let's throw in the bike rack as well that's 10 kilograms all that adds up to a whopping 163 kilograms in bits that I've added to the caravan over and above the MRO that's an interesting figure that 163 because the reason I do that is because my glasses do slip down so I just every now and again I have to they only slip down when I'm doing vlogs I think it's because I'm a tad nervous um, so that 163 kilograms so that Bailey we we got the Cartagena which is the uh, which is a Unicorn 4 twin axle 160 kilograms payload that was it so I had motor movers on there uh, two actually I had two motor movers um, and couldn't really put anything else on because that obviously eats into the, so what you can take so your chairs table clothes and toiletries food all that kind of stuff it all adds up so you've got to be a bit careful some of the reasons the challenger was basically the caravan for us was pretty much mainly the layout and the finish of the inside and then a happy sort of coincidence was it has a whopping great big 2000 kilogram mtplm which if i take off that 163 kilograms it still gives us just shy of 300 kilograms left we start off with 460 yeah minus 160 300 100 of uh, probably 400 and two, probably 297 kilograms in any case it's an absolute massive amount still almost double what we had with the bailey even though we've added all these extras that is probably one of the most dull videos i've ever done however i did want to preempt any questions that i'll get in fact i do get quite a lot of questions on the payload every time i add something so now i can point them to this video congratulations if you sat for all that that was so dull i'm sorry I, it's just i just wanted to give some information some facts on the weights of stuff in the, and on the caravan that was all so questions answered next time hopefully a bit more joyful a bit more fun and i will get around to bringing that canopy out now at the weekend uh, the weather's not going to pick up any more than it has at the moment in fact on saturday afternoon it's going to get decidedly windy so there's a, a no way on god's earth that i'm going to be able to share any further footage that's it thanks for watching that's all the weights and everything to do with anything and everything that we've had it added to the caravan so please don't ask again about the payload that's it there is plenty of payload left i've got 300 kilograms left still one thing i wanted to mention before i go last week's vlog a little bit of moaning about the music too loud not to their taste blah 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 i'll give you in parts it was too loud my mistake in editing but you know i don't know what music you like i think it was rap was rap or something and there was a few you know oh, rap however i did get a few comments on some music i played before which i will end the vlog on whoever i think you know who you are if you asked about this song i'll play it at the end as we go thanks for watching see you in the next one <laughs>